After three years of waiting and a whole bunch of release delays, The New Mutants has finally hit theaters. Hi everybody, I'm Luke Filmboss and today I will be doing a spoiler free movie review of The New Mutants. To start us off, I'm going to talk about the characters. This film was a very good character study of The New Mutants. I loved most of the characters in this movie. Each of them had something interesting and unique that made you care about them. The only character that I didn't find interesting was Danny, the main character. And even as the movie went along, she got more interesting as you realize how big of a role she had in the story. But at the beginning, her personality and backstory just aren't very intriguing. And so it isn't until about the halfway mark that she really becomes an interesting character. Overall, the villain was good. The villain wasn't anything great. But the villain does check off some of the boxes that make a good villain. The villain believes in what they're doing, that they are right. The villain is a threat. And the portrayal of the villain is done very well by the actor that they got for it. And so overall, the villain isn't anything groundbreaking, but the villain is solid and serves its purpose. Next, I'm going to talk about the story. I don't want to go too deep into it because this is a spoiler-free review. But overall, the premise is good. A group of young mutants are in a medical facility to help them control their powers. And of course, there are some dark turns and secrets that get exposed. There are some really big story points in this movie that I can't get into without ruining the viewing experience for first-time watchers. But to sum up my, my views on the story, it was solid, nothing super special, but it was effective for what they were going for. The tone of this movie was dark, creepy, and mysterious, which worked because this is a horror movie at its center. However, this movie doesn't fully commit to being a horror movie. During the third act, it kind of shifts gears and becomes an action movie to satisfy the comic book fans thirst for that comic book action. I am very grateful that this movie doesn't rely on cheap jump scares to get the audience's heart rate going. It relies on the fact that you have spent time with these characters and you now care about them and that you now know what scares these characters and then it puts the characters into situations that are both terrifying and personal to them and so you as the audience feel what the characters are feeling and so their terror becomes your terror and while it doesn't always work 100% it works pretty effectively add to that some legitimately terrifying creepy imagery and it works pretty well. The horror doesn't work 100% as I said. The reason for this is that I never once believed that our heroes were going to die. First off, the trailers made it seem like our heroes all had to be alive for the third act. And the biggest problem here is that our heroes are so powerful that you never once believe that they're in any danger. But, you know, everybody can be wrong sometimes. Concluding with the topic of horror, I felt like this movie didn't have enough of it. There was a few hints of it in the first act, but there was nothing scary there. Which was good and okay because the first act did so much character development that paid off in the second act with the horror that happened there. However, the third act goes for the action spectacle while trying to add an element of horror there, which doesn't work to add horror. However, it does work to add excitement and stakes. So overall, while this movie isn't full-on horror movie, every bit of horror that they put in works enough to better the movie. One thing that stuck out to me about this movie is that it almost warrants an R rating. The reason for this being is that there are some bloody images that come very close to the edge of a PG-13 rating to where it's almost R but not quite. Uh, there's also some very mature themes and subjects discussed in this movie, one of which was very shocking and powerful, but I felt like an R rating would have done it more justice 
as well as some of the other subjects, but they work in a PG-13 movie. There's not very much swearing in this movie, but it does use the B word about six times. So it's definitely not a family friendly movie. I would recommend it for older teenagers and adults. A quick warning to any Christians who might be interested in seeing this movie. There is a lesbian relationship in it. And while it's not overwhelming to the point where it ruins the movie or affects the story in any big way, it is very apparent and there is some lesbian kissing in it. So if that's something that would bother you, I wouldn't recommend this movie for you. I had a few problems with the third act. First off, it did convey from horror to action, which I didn't mind. It's a comic book movie, so I accepted that. And there was some cool visual work that they did with it. But overall, I thought there was some lines in the third act that were a little bit cringy. And there was one main scene, very important scene in the third act that I felt was acted out and written very poorly. And it wasn't at all as powerful as it should have been. Had it not been for the message that that scene gives us. And that message overall saves the scene and saves the third act as a whole. At the beginning of this movie when I started watching it. I was worried about what they were going for with the message. I didn't quite see what they were going for trying to get across. And there were some small messages scattered around that I didn't like. However by the second act. This movie finds footing on a theme, and the theme fits very well. And then the message was just a big cherry on top. The message was strong and effective, and it was quite fitting for the time we are living in now. Just real quick, I want to mention I will be making a spoiler review for The New Mutants, where I will be discussing the characters, the story, the themes, and the messages all in more depth, so be on the lookout for that. With that, let's get to the conclusion. As for the score, I give The New Mutants an 83% in quality. I thought this was one of the better X-Men movies. It wasn't the best, but it by far wasn't the worst. Also, I like that they did something different with the comic book genre by making it a comic book horror movie, which worked. Also, the story worked, the themes and tones were consistent, the characters were compelling and likable, so overall I thought this was a well-crafted film. Uh, as for enjoyment, I give this film a 79%. I thought that the real fun and enjoyment didn't come until about halfway through in the second act where it really finds its core center. Also there was a few lines of dialogue that were a bit cringy and some of the scenes were poorly acted but overall there was nothing major that made this film unenjoyable so it was overall a fun watch. And for the overall score I give this film an 81%. Thanks everybody for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from Luke Film Boss. All of you have killed someone. If you weren't here, you'd be in prison, or worse. And you mutants are dangerous.